For over a century, I have lived in secret until now. I know the risk, but I have to know her. I'm Elena. I'm Stefan. I know. I'm Damon, Stefan's brother. You didn't tell me he had a brother. Being around her, being in her world, does make you feel alive. You told me about your ex, Catherine. She broke your heart. It was a long time ago. I'm gonna give you Elena's cell number. What are you up to? That's for me to know and you to dot, dot, dot. I was hoping I'd see you again. <sighs> in a town called Mystic Falls, where these two vampire brothers were born uh, in the 1800s and were uh, turned into vampires in the 1860s. And one of the brothers both come back because there's something there that reminds them of their past that they absolutely positively have to suss out. And in the meantime, sort of this entire insanity ensues. It keeps changing and it keeps evolving and it keeps getting grittier and darker and darker and scarier and bloodier. And the <laughs> end of the season ends with a huge shock and a lot of... Um, a lot of cliffhangers. Tell me something, when's the last time you had something stronger than a squirrel? I know what you're doing, Damon. It's not gonna work. Yeah, come on. Don't you crave a little? Stop. Let's do it. Together. I saw a couple girls out there. Or just, let's just cut to the chase. Let's just go straight for Elena. Stop it! Imagine what her blood tastes like. I can't. I said stop! <laughs> Stefan is the, uh, at first glance, and uh, at deep at heart, noble and um, uh, good-hearted and uh, good intentions. Um, but at the end of the day, incredibly conflicted, uh, has a, very much a dark side. Damon, Damon wants two things back. One of them specifically, he wants, he wants the love of his life, who he thinks is you know, the love of his life. And he comes back to town to find that. He also is lonely. He wants his brother back. I mean, there's two relationships of two people that knew him and understand him from the from the inception of this vamp, you know, vampirism in which he's become. Well, Elena at first meets Stefan, and and she can't explain what it is exactly that that draws her to him. But there's something mysterious and interesting, and they have this connection and this bond, and they're drawn to each other. They just can't help it. I hope you don't think this is. Too soon, too weird. But I, uh, I wanted you to have this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's something that I've, I've had forever, and uh, I've never wanted to give it to anyone until now. And I'd very much like it if you wear it for me, for good luck. Is that rose that I smell? No, it's a. Uh, it's an herb. It's nice, huh? Love it. Uh, it's a great way to tell uh, a story of a young, young adult story um, with uh, such odd and extreme circumstances. Uh, and the vampire is a, a symbolic of the, the rebel, the outsider, the outcast, uh, the recluse. Um, yet the one that's uh, the rebel who's still appealing, the bad boy that you sort of want to get close to, but you, you, you are kind of afraid of, and um, represents a lot of people can sort of relate to that. More like a journal. <coughs> when I was younger, when I started working. Isn't a journal basically like a... It is. It is a diary. It just, I never started with Dear Diary. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dear Self. Today was so. a good day. <laughs> but going back and looking at it, I mean, I have the, the entries that go back as to far as like, uh, you know. Do nice you still and, have them? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in a, a safe deposit box. I actually started with Dear Diary at the beginning. <laughs> so I guess I kept diaries for a while and then I would go, I'd start and then I'd stop because things would get crazy. I wish I'd been more consistent though because it, it'd be interesting to go back and, and read it. Because when I have gone back and read things, it, things that were so important at the time and so kind of... The, the, I lost sleep over right now and I read them back. I'm like, really? <laughs> you were that hung up on that guy? 
<laughs> but he was such oh like it's it's funny it's just... my i would unfortunately write down thoughts to, as a way of therapy i think when i was younger but then i'd be embarrassed about it so i would uh, then read it and be like who am i kidding and rip it up and really to god that nobody would see it so i'd have these pages that i would then rip up because i was too embarrassed in front of myself uh, which is of course at the time an absurd thing uh and now as an adult i write all the time just to sort of get things out you know it's what you do but um i don't have anything to go back and look at um which is a shame but um you know it's what made me who i am i have photos all you can do is be ready for the good so when it comes you invite it in because you need it i need it i will be your guardian